happening right now in Pennsylvania. The House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is at an event to talk about college affordability, or the lack thereof. We will see if she says anything about her escalating feud with the president that grows more personal, especially in the last 24 hours. Speaker Pelosi took a shot at the president's mental state, asking for a Trump family intervention. The president shot back, calling her crazy Nancy and a mess. Okay, it's like fourth four-year-old stuff here. As the two leaders go back and forth, a source close to the White House tells CNN that Pelosi, quote, hasn't gotten under his skin, but got his attention. Let's go to our colleague Lauren Fox. She is on Capitol Hill this morning. And you, Lauren, have been talking to Senate Republicans. They're telling you enough? Enough with this? Well, that's right. You know, I think some Senate Republicans understand the president's frustration. They say that Democrats in the House are attacking the president, his family, his finances. Those are all very personal things for the president of the United States. But they also say, you know, you have to rise above and get some work done. But, you know, interestingly, they are also getting a little bit frustrated with the fact that they don't have really a clear legislative agenda. They've been doing a lot of nominees on the floor of the U.S. Senate. They did pass that disaster aid bill yesterday, but it took quite a bit of starts and stops to get a bill that Republicans and Democrats could actually get behind. You know, they say basically because it's divided government, but because Democrats in the House are spending so much time on these investigations, they are having a hard time breaking through with any kind of legislative agenda. There's also, of course, that 2020 election to look forward to. There are a lot of Republicans in the Senate who are up for re-election in tough states there. You know, one Republican senator I talked to said, quote, I'm not sure what our legislative agenda is right now. That person also said that they weren't even sure that you could find a member of the United States Senate who could tell you what that agenda is is now you know some republicans basically say we would do more if we could if we had the support of the house of representatives but for now you know if democrats are going to block everything and they're going to take up so much time on the floor of the senate you know the best we're going to be able to do is nominees and they're okay with that poppy all right yeah lauren fox thank you very much as this feud intensifies, a disturbing new trend is emerging this is a really big deal uh doctored videos or so-called sort of deep fakes that look shockingly real. One such video of the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi appearing to slur her speech at an event earlier this week has been made. It's been viewed millions of times on the internet, but it's not real, it's fake. We're gonna show you the real one first and then the fake one, watch this. And then he had a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this, um, Short sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before. And then he had a, a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this um, short sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before. Right? You see the difference? That fake video is still circulating all over social media, even though YouTube has taken it down. Another carefully edited mashup of Pelosi makes her appear awkward and stammering. That actually aired on Fox Business News. President Trump had a video of that from Fox Business pinned to his Twitter page until just about an hour ago. Let's talk about that with Bill Carter, former media reporter of The New York Times. Bill, good to have you here. This is, nice here. This is really scary, and this is not going well, away, and I'm fearful this is going to be all over the 2020 election. It, it, it's a signal, obviously, that anything goes here. Anything goes. I mean, look, Trump always reacts when he's attacked by attacking in a way that's even lower in the gutter kind of and and his forces don't mind this he he likes to play this game and he was looking for a uh, a nickname for her so now it's going to be crazy he's going to be crazy and he's going and all this is going to be supported by whatever they can c come up with but you're right it's a signal for where it's going to go because this is going to be manipulated all over the place no matter what people think is true they're going to have to question it when they see something on especially on online you know all right, so this time it happens to Nancy Pelosi, yeah. but this could just as easily happen to the president, who speaks publicly well, all it, the time. And it does happen to the president on, like, com comedy shows. I've seen yeah. Jimmy Kimmel has run a lot of things where he slows us down and makes him sound drunk. He actually has done the exact same thing. Well, For comedy purposes, everybody knows it's a mock. But it, it's being used here as though this is w w the way she really is. And, and they're trying to say she's, like, losing it, like she's, you know, becoming, you know, senile. They're going to try to push yeah. that line. And, you know, it's pretty dirty tactics. I, it's, I, it's politics at its worst, And I really. should note, these videos that we've shown you this morning, they're not the same as deep fakes. But that is right. a technology yes. that has been used to basically replace someone's face on a different yes. body, and it all looks real. And it's sort of 
in the in the same uh, family of issues, uh, I well, think that, that yeah. social media and technology and the internet are presenting us in 2020 yes. in this election. And in fact, a lot of people are saying this is a very crude example because it's pretty obviously done this way. But there's so many people sharing it, and then you have the president retweeting it. That wasn't a doctored video. That was an edited video where he they, right. they speeded her up, they repeated things, they made it look like she was stammering. That was an edited video. But, you know, the idea that he then sends it out to, what, 60 million followers or something? That's, you clearly are using technology to send a false message this yeah, way. A video that is edited to look like something that it was not. Yes. Posted on Twitter by the President of, of the, the United, United States. States. We should not be surprised that the President of the United States, this President, is doing something no other President would ever do. Because he doesn't have the responsibility gene. He doesn't have a conscience, really. He'll attack anyone who attacks him, and it, he doesn't really think about it. We shouldn't be surprised by it. But I do think it's a signal mm -hmm. that it's going to get worse. It's well, also well, a sign that I think he's really desperate and upset with what, the way it's, Bill, just he's be, being attacked. Uh, politics aside, who is responsible for monitoring this stuff, taking it down? Facebook, yeah, well, YouTube that's a really took good this question. down, but after how long? YouTube, I mean, YouTube took it down relatively quickly. Yeah. Facebook, it's still up. At least it was the last I heard. And, and Facebook goes through, because Facebook allows you to do a mock video, they would allow Jimmy Kimmel to do it as a mock video. So they sort of have to go through this process. Meanwhile, it's been circulated around the world. Oh you know that goodness. old thing about a lie going around the world. It's very fast. It travels fast. Yeah.